In this video, we're going to go off to the barbershop location to collect all the money and add stock to the machine. Watch all the way to the end. Enjoy the show. What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We are back with another vending collection video. We're back at the barbershop location today and it's time to service our machine. So as you know, when we originally get here, we update the Nyax credit card reader with inventory and cash box collection and all that good stuff. Then we move right into stocking, usually with the drink. So we're gonna go ahead and start that again. If you, if you recall the last time we were here, we had a little sprite mishap, thank goodness. We've got the camera clear. We're not going to worry about that anymore. And I'm going to be extra careful with those sprites going forward. Um, and we're just going to work top down in this row. We're going to stock things up. Things like Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew. Uh, we got to think one Red Bull to put in there as well. We're going to work our way down through that section. And then before we'll actually go on and move on to the snacks. So while we're doing that, guys, I just want to say happy Wednesday. This is the midweek video. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the content we've been producing lately. Uh, if you if you didn't check it out yet, uh, we just did a video where we actually traveled to Ohio and visited Investment Joy's laundromat. We played as, as a coin pusher. We bought some things from his vending machine. We checked out the laundromat. Really cool video. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that video because I definitely want everyone to go check that out. And there's a little surprise at the end too. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out and watch all the way to the end to see the little surprise. Um, a lot of people seem to like that part anyway. So anyway, uh, we had a lot of fun on that trip, uh, but it was a, certainly, a, certainly a long day. So thank goodness we're back in South Carolina, no longer in Ohio. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the car for the, this past weekend, that's for sure. But anyway, how's everyone doing out there? How's your vending business doing? What's new with you? What's selling well? What's not selling well? You know, the typical standard question I like to ask in my videos, put in the comments, let me know what's going on. You know, what are you having success with? What new um, best practice did you learn when it comes to your vending business? Put anything like that in the comments, share it with our viewers. Let's see what kind of cool info we can get in the comments of this video. All right, so I'm actually doing a little updating on my Ventsoft stocking sheets. And as you can see, I actually come, I come with them pre-filled out because I know what I have in the machines via the NIAX credit card readers. So uh, what happens is though, is when I, from the time I pre-kit, to the time I actually arrive at the location, sometimes sales are made, right? Sometimes sales are made. So I actually make adjustments on the fly on that sheet and then I'll, I'll update everything in the NIAX app once that's complete, once I'm actually done stocking the machine up. Uh, but I'm going 100% full capacity today, getting everything stocked up. We got the, the, those orange Fanta stocked up, uh, the Pepsis are stocked up, we're getting the Sprites in there now. And remember, I'm gonna be extra careful with those Sprites to avoid any spray backs like we had in that previous video. So thank goodness, you know, I, <laughs> that's not going to happen in this video because that was quite a pain. My arm was all sticky. The camera had a uh, sprite uh, spots all over it. So again, I apologize that happened in those previous videos, but we're all good to go now. All right. So it looks like we got the drinks just about stocked up. Watch me carefully close that. <laughs> I was real gingerly closing that, uh, that drawer because I didn't want to have any more mishaps. So drinks are all taken care of. Now it's time to get to the snacks. And while we're starting to stock up the snacks, let's talk about a few things. So very first, so today is Wednesday, so we're looking to do the live stream this evening. Myself, Extreme Vending, and the Howard Hospitality Group have been doing live streams every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, you can find it right here on Galaxy Games 843 on our channel right here on YouTube. Um, so that's the plan for this evening as well. So make sure you join us if you want to talk about vending or maybe learn some best new practices. Um, let's see, two weeks ago we had Quick Play with us, a, a week ago we had CandyMachines.com with us. So there's always some cool people joining, kind of sharing some info, sharing some fun, answering questions, just talking vending. So definitely if you're interested in getting some more information about vending, go ahead and join us in our, uh, our live stream tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on Galaxy Games 843 on YouTube. All right, so uh, what I'm doing here, I'm actually adding some coins to the coin mech because the coins were low. And uh, if you recall, in a previous video at the laundromat, we had extra dollar coins. I'm gonna put those in here too. Hopefully that'll alleviate some of those quarters flying out of there so fast when people use dollars to get um, items and then get uh, like change back. Sometimes people use $5 bills and then when it gives change back, it gives it all back in quarters. So if we add those dollar coins in there, maybe that'll alleviate that going forward. 
we'll see what happens. Anyway, so we got the uh, the dollar coins added. We got some quarters added to the coin tubes. It's now time to stock up the snacks, and I'm doing more updates there on my Vensoft inventory tracking sheet. And so let's talk about Vensoft for a minute, because we haven't talked about Vensoft in a while. So Vensoft is a great tool if you're just starting a vending business or if you already have a vending business. Um, it's great for inventory management, sales, expenses, mileage. Like there's so many different things Vensoft can do. I started using it this year because previously I was using Excel and, you know, like I had, you know, all these formulas all over the place. And I'm not sure that I was truly getting um, an accurate result because one of the things that I, I really love about Vensoft is every time you purchase items or you get, you add inventory to your, to your inventory. Every time I purchase these cheese, it's right. Um, I, I create um, a purchase and I enter the amount I paid, the amount of items that were in the um, box, and it does all the calculations for me on a cost per item. So this, this year has been, this has been essential because let's be honest, the cost per item has changed so much this year. And each time I go, I feel like it's a little bit different, maybe a little bit more expensive. And over the course of a year, um, this tool has really, like I said, calculated all my cost of goods sold um, because sometimes it's, you know, they can be 34 cents or sometimes it'd be 38 cents. And with my Excel spreadsheets, like that part of it wasn't real accurate. And that's what I always felt bad about. So going forward, Vensoft is the way to go. Got to take care of everything for me from a cost standpoint. All right, so we're working on stocking up that top row. Cheez-Its are next, and then I think we've got just about everything done in that top row. Uh, let's see here. Now we got some pretzels to do too. So we'll get the pretzels added. We already did our Wise Original Chips. I think we had like one um, one Chex Mix, and that's one thing I'm thinking about removing from this machine. I'm thinking about removing Chex Mix and replacing it with something else. And honestly, every time I come here, the Famous Amos are always sold out. So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing two rows of Famous Amos. Because those are always seem to be sold out every time I come here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think another row of famous Amos in this machine would be better than having the checks mix? Put it down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Look, like I said, there's there's a, a sold out row of famous Amos. Um, what else? Uh, we got a sold out row of Takis. The barbecue chips were almost sold out. So lots of sales in this row for sure. Um, and also, I don't know if you if you saw in the title or the thumbnail, but we found something weird in this machine, right? So when we do our actual cash collection, you're gonna see we find something weird in the machine and I don't know how it got there. Um, I can't explain how it got there. Just make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video so you can see what I'm talking about because in my opinion, it's impossible to find what we found where we found it. That's all I'm gonna say. We'll talk about it at the end of the video. All right, so we're getting the thing stocked up. We got those famous names stocked up. Time to do the Wise Barbecue Chips. And uh, another thing about Wise Chips, so I think I talked about this in a previous video, but Sam's Club has changed the packaging, or maybe Wise has changed the packaging on these two variety packs. Anyway, they used to come in a cardboard like sleeve that was wrapped in cellophane, and it used to be blue. Now they come in a complete cardboard box, no cellophane, and it's more of a light blue, off-white kind of color as well. So if you're looking for Wise variety packs chips in your sam's club if they carry them um be aware there is a packaging change and you might walk right past them like i did three times i felt pretty silly once i finally found actually mrs galaxy games is the one who found them so luckily she found those and we stocked back up because for a, for a hot minute we couldn't find those and it was probably due to the fact that they were changing over their packaging or something like that but that's neither here nor there Anyway, getting the Taki stocked up next, and then we've got, looks like maybe a mini cookie or two and some cheese doodles in that row. Then we'll move down to the candy row. So how many of you guys out there do Takis in your machines? Put it in the comments, let me know. Um, this location usually does really well with the Takis, but none of my other locations do super well. Sometimes they'll sell at the truck accessory shop, um, but I've tried them at the brewery, they don't do well there, and I thought maybe they'd do well there because, you know, it's a place of beverages but they did not do very well there. Um, I thought about maybe trying some other hot spicy stuff here too, but I wasn't sure what else I could get that would kind of work with my current situation with this machine. I, you know, I don't like buying too many variety packs. So if you've got an idea else for something else that might be a, a spicy treat or a spicy snack, put that in the comments too and let us know. All right, is that row done? That row's just about done. We got the cheese doodles added. 
We can put that row away and move down to the candy row. Now, no, notice nothing is sold out, but let's see how the levels are looking. It looks like the Skittles were hit pretty hard. Actually, the Wildberry Skittles were hit pretty hard, as well as Sour Patch Kids. So everything else is kind of a ones and twos thing. Uh, Snicker Bars looks like we have, I don't know, maybe five or six of those as well. So we're getting all the candy stocked up. And uh, this is another row. I'm always wondering, like, do I need to make some changes? Like, what's not so? Like, the M&Ms didn't sell very well this time. So what might do better in this machine? If this was your machine, what would you change? Put that in the comments. Let me know. And um, who knows? Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll figure something out. All right. It's almost time to collect the money. And when we collect the money, that's when you're going to see what I'm talking about. With what's the weird thing we found in this machine? Again, I don't understand how this thing we found got to where we found it in the machine doesn't make any sense i'm guessing there was some kid involved uh, but again i don't understand how the heck it happened we're almost there so stay with me just a couple more minutes and i'll show you what i'm talking about all right so wild berry skittles stocked up we have regular looks like we have a couple regular to stock up as well so we'll get those stocked up and now with the skittles all in it's time to do the collection it's time to reveal the weird thing we found in this machine so first things first, let's check the coins to see if there's any coins in the coin bucket. I think there's a couple coins this time. Uh, let's check. I know I always struggle removing this coin bucket. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there are some coins in there. So we'll pour those into our money bag here. Next, let's go ahead and collect the cash. And this is where I'm talking about where we found something weird in the dollar bill acceptor, right? I don't know how it got there. Let's pull the cash out and you're going to see what I'm talking about. So there's a Notice it was, I had difficulty pulling it out. There we go. So there's a nice uh, nice little stack. Uh, but what's in there weird? So I felt something weird. Look, there's a Pokemon card inside. It's Licky Licky of all Pokemon too, which is really weird. So I don't know how that got in there. I don't know if a kid fed it in with a dollar bill or something like that. But it was weird that that ended up in our dollar bill acceptor. Anyway, total amount collected for this time around. This was a two-week collection was $150.50. That includes coins, cash, and credit card sales. So... Very cool, 150, we'll take it for sure. All right, with that said, we got our machine locked up. We're gonna make our way outside to stock the uh, the vending SUV back up, and it's time to wrap the video up. So once again, guys, don't forget to give this video a like, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.